In the last video, we looked at um, using if for selection to check if one number was bigger than another. And we used else to run a different message if it wasn't bigger. Um, the problem is with this at the moment is there are three possible options here. The two numbers, one could be bigger than the other, one could be smaller than the other, or they could be the same. So when you've got more than two options in your program, you can use if, and then you use else if, and you have another check. So in this case, if 10 is greater than 9, right line, the number is bigger, else if 9 is greater than 10, then right line, the number is smaller. And finally, if there, if if 10 isn't bigger or 9 isn't bigger, they must be the same. So finally I'll put an else. And I don't need a check after an else, remember. Else. They're the same. So you can keep having ifs and else ifs until you run out of options and your last option, the only option left, should be in an else. You don't need to use an else if for your final option. Let's try that. Number is bigger. There we go. Because 10 was greater than 9. 9 wasn't greater than 10 so we didn't get that and we didn't get there the same. Now. Let me just change this to check that it's all working. If 9 is greater than 10, else if 9 is smaller than 10. So if 9 is greater than 10, right the line, the number is bigger. Else if 9 is smaller than 10, right line, the number is smaller. Else, say they're the same. So I should get this one this time. There we go, I've got the number is smaller. And finally, let's set them to the same number. So I should get they're the same. There you go, they're the same. Now that's how to use selection with an if, an else if, and an else if with fixed numbers in your code. In the next video, we're going to start looking at how we can make this more useful by using variables instead of fixed numbers.